Do you need help practicing and listening to English for your citizenship exam? Are you worried that you won't remember the answers? Well, worry no more. I'm That Immigration Guy, and in this video, I'm going to help you learn and practice the sixth set of 10 questions on the exam, questions 51 through 60. Please watch my other videos where I can help you practice the other 90 questions broken down into 10 question videos. Welcome to my channel. I'm Bren Newcomb. If you're new here, I'm that immigration guy, an attorney focusing solely in the immigration law for almost 20 years. This video is unique. It is a learning tool to help you study for the exam. As I explained in another of my videos on how to prepare for the citizenship exam, there is a free resource book from the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service called Learn About the United States Quick Civics Lessons. You will be given this book when you go in for your biometric appointment. I will be using this book as a guide for you. I'll tackle 10 question blocks in each video. I suggest listening several times to these videos and practicing along with me. I will read the question, then the answer, with a little additional information. After I've gone through all 10, I will repeat just the questions and the answers one more time. Finally, I will repeat just the questions with a pause where you can answer yourself. Watch this video several times and you will pass that citizenship exam. Are you ready? Well, let's begin. Part 1. To begin, let's go through questions 51 through 60 and the answers, and I'll give a few tips with each question that may help you remember the answers. Question 51. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Answer. Freedom of expression, freedom of speech. You may also answer any of the following as they will be correct. Freedom of assembly, freedom to petition the government, freedom of worship, the right to bear arms. The Constitution and the Bill of Rights give many of our basic rights to all those living in the U.S. Each one is critically important. Because the question asks for two, I would answer freedom of expression and speech, but very important U.S. rights that not all countries give to their citizens. Question 52. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? Answer, the United States and the flag. The flag is an important symbol of the United States. The Pledge of Allegiance states the following. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. When we say the pledge, we usually stand facing the flag with our right hand over our heart. The current form of the pledge dates back to 1954. Question 53. What is one promise you make when you become a U.S. citizen? Answer. Give up loyalty to other countries. You may also correctly answer any of the following. Defend the Constitution and laws of the United States. Obey the laws of the United States. Serve in the U.S. military if needed. Serve the nation. Be loyal to the United States. To become a citizen, we require that you live in the U.S. for a specific period of time, be of good moral character, and understand and support the Constitution. Becoming a U.S. citizen requires that you give up any loyalty to other countries. When you do become a citizen, you will be given the Oath of Allegiance, which I will cover in another video. But for this question, since it only asks you to remember one, you may correctly answer, give up loyalty to other countries. Question 54. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Answer, 18 and older. At one time, the minimum voting age was 21. However, during the Vietnam War, many who fought and died for our country were under this age. It was correctly believed that if you could serve in the armed forces at 18, you should be able to vote at this age. Thus, the official age was changed in 1971. Remember, 18 and older may vote for president. 
Question 55. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Answer. Vote. Join a political party. You may also correctly answer any of the following. Help with a campaign. Join a civic group. Join a community group. Give an elected official your opinion on an issue. Call senators and representatives. Publicly support or oppose an issue or policy. Run for office. Or write to a newspaper. Citizens play a very important role in our communities. There are many ways to get involved. It is good to know the entire list, but for the test, sufficient to remember, vote and join a political party. Question 56. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? Answer. April 15th. The Constitution gave the federal government the power to collect taxes. The official date is April 15th. Question 57. When must all men register for the selective service? Answer. Between 18 and 26. Early in our nation's history, there was no provision for conscription into the armed services. President Lincoln tried to draft men during the Civil War, but it caused anger and riots. In 1917, Congress adopted the Selective Service Act, which gave the initial power for the draft. We currently do not have a draft, but all men must register between the ages of 18 and 26. Question 58. What is one reason colonists came to America? Answer. Freedom. You may also correctly answer any of the following. Political liberty, religious freedom, economic opportunity, practice their religion, escape persecution. In the 1600s and 1700s, colonists came from Europe to the American colonies for various reasons, such as to escape persecution, political freedom, or religious freedom. For this question, why colonists came to America, it is sufficient to remember simply freedom. Question 59. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Answer. American Indians. There were many American Indian tribes living in America before the Europeans arrived. The Pilgrims settled on the East Coast in an area where the Wampanoag tribe lived. These Indians taught the Pilgrims many survival skills. However, as the flood of colonists came, many Indian tribes became confrontational, especially as the Europeans started moving west. Question 60. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Answer. Africans. Slavery existed in many countries long before America was founded. But by 1700, many Africans were brought to the colonies as slaves. They worked without payment and many basic rights. Slavery was one of the major causes of the American Civil War. Remember? Africans. How was that? Not too bad, I hope. Now we're going to get into a little more practice. Part two, I will now read the question slowly. I will pause. I will then read the answer. Try to answer yourself during the pause. Ready? Okay. Question 51. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Answer. Freedom of speech. Question 52. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? Answer. The United States and the flag. Question 53. What is one promise you make when you become a U.S. citizen? Answer. Give up loyalty to other countries. Question 54. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Answer. 18 and older. Question 55. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Answer. Vote. Run for office. Question 56. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? Answer. April 15th. Question 57. When must all men register for the selective service? Answer, between the ages of 18 and 26. Question 58. What is one reason colonists came to America? Answer, freedom. Question 59. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Answer, American Indians. 
Question 60. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Answer. Africans. We're now at the final part of the prep. I'm going to ask you just the question and then pause. Use the pause to answer yourself. Ready? Question 51. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Question 52. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? Question 53. What is one promise you make when you become a U.S. citizen? Question 54. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Question 55. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Question 56. When is the last day you can send federal income tax forms in? Question 57. When must all men register for the Selective Service? Question 58. What is one reason colonists came to America? Question 59. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Question 60. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? That's it. How did you do? If you master these, please write down the word done in the comments below. I would love to know how many people this has helped. One final thing, I do want you to remember I'm not giving specific legal advice about your case with this video. Every single case is different. This is an informative video. For advice on your particular situation, please seek help from a qualified and experienced immigration attorney such as me, that immigration guy. If you like this video, hit like below and please subscribe. I'll be putting out regular content every few days. Share the video. If you need immigration advice, contact my office. I'll be more than happy to help you. And remember, that immigration guy for your future immigration legal needs.